Pramuk. So round four. Waka Paul Pramuk in the blue. Marco Piquet of the Netherlands in the red. Holland versus Thailand. This event coming from the Sport Hall. Stiedenvik Almere in the Netherlands. And it's the slam event. And that's just what's happening to Marco Piquet as he is being systematically taken apart by the Lumpini assassin Wakapo Pramuk and Pramuk now starting to bring up the high kick more confidence that front teeth goes straight through the guard we see a high kick go up this is full tie rules and Wakao is going to feel just at home here doing clinch throws sweeps it's full MT rules and interestingly enough distinct lack of elbows I've seen during this tournament and I don't know whether that's because the fighters are confused as to whether or not the full el elbow strike is allowed under modified European rules but but this is full MT rules nice tickle with the knee there from PK he's still very much in this but uh, the dominance of Boakau just at another level and uh, the strength, the tenacity of Boakau beginning to show Marco Piquet blowing hard now and you can see where the superiority lays here tonight and he's a class act Boakau lots of Thai fighters with big old Thai records come here and actually European Thai fighters for my money dominate you know and uh, you know just because a, a Thai fighter has a big fight record when they come to Europe and they come up against the likes of Pete Crook Ole Bajo Lawson to name but a few of the top MT fighters on the circuit and of course ripping it up gnarly star Liam Harrison Liam Harrison from the bad company gym up in Leeds and Incidentally, uh, on the 17th of June at the Leeds Town Hall, Richard Cadden goes up against Satori Vasikova, the All Japan champion. Andy Housen, Liam Harrison's in there again. Jordan Watson. Uh, nice card on that fight, actually. 17th of June, Leeds Town Hall, bad company gym. And Liam Harrison, of course, featuring on that Pain and Glory card. Well, it's the last round, the fifth and final. And uh, Marco Piquet, the sniper from Amsterdam, has had his work cut out here tonight. It's a brave effort. But uh, Waka Paul Pramuk just exuding confidence and casually showing his dominance and Marco Piquet good effort really but I think you've got to remember that he's fighting the number one arguably in the world and uh, it's all been just well in the case of Piquet a bridge over a canal too far
PK keeps coming, but Wackow is better. He's shown great evasive skills. Stay quick and light, and look at the sheer power and strength that uh, Wackow has at his disposal. Marco PK looking very much a spent force, rushes to the task, but. Uh, Really, I think uh, Boakow being gracious at this stage in not taking out PK in front of what is very much a home crowd. And uh, I think it's a lot of grace actually in allowing the fighter to finish because I think Paul Pramuk has it within the armory there to stop this. And uh, Marco Pico almost out on his feet. Just going through the motions. Just over half a minute left to go now. And it has to be said, if it wasn't for the presence of a fighter of the class of Wackow, well, not a lot of icing on the cake for a spectator here good effort but uh, whack out certainly letting him off the hook well, that's it <laughs> Marco Pique puts his hands up but I think that's more a sign of relief that he was able to finish and he looks absolutely ruined I'm not surprised. So there must be an element of happiness in the PK corner tempered with uh, an element of sadness happiness that uh, Marco PK wasn't dispatched and uh, let's wait for the decision yep you know, it wasn't going to be a surprise, but uh, I always like to wait and see. And the 